Michael Sags. I've got my keys in the car again. If only I could teleport. Quantum teleportation was one of the greatest breakthroughs in quantum physics that started as far back as 1998, when they teleported a photon across an optical bench. More recently, however, scientists have been able to teleport a photon across an 89 mile distance. The mechanics of quantum teleportation may perplex you. However, it is fairly straightforward. Just as this video is transferring information to you, so quantum teleportation is just a transfer of information on a quantum level. My main focus will be on the teleportation of photons. In order to fit this video in a lot of 5 minute interval, I will be representing photons with people and the polarization with the number on their shirt. Quantum teleportation is not possible without entangled photons, which are produced in the following way. A photon is sent through a non-linear crystal. Two entangled photons emerge, each having half the amount of an energy as the original, and linked polarization due to the conservation of angular momentum. One of these entangled photons are then sent to the place where you want another photon to be teleported. Although many photons have to be teleported, I am only going to be looking at the process of teleporting one X-ray photon. Coming back to Earth, we now need to get our correctly parallelized X-ray photon. We then make a Bell measurement of our entangled photon and the X-ray photon. A Bell measurement is a simultaneous observation or measurement of two qubits. In this case, the information from the X-ray photon and the entangled photon yielding one of four Bell states. This information is then sent by traditional means to Elon, who calibrates his polarization rotator to the corresponding Bell state. Elon would then send his photon using a laser through the polarization rotator and the desired X-ray photon with a specific polarization would emerge. Due to the ball measurement on Earth, the photons which are measured are discarded, leaving only the information of their ball states. Using the polarization rotator, this information transforms the photon on Mars into the desired X-ray photon. This leaves us with an identical copy of the X-ray photon that was on Earth, which no longer exists. Thus we can conclude that the X-ray photon was teleported from Earth to Mars through the transfer of information. Although this is quite a new discovery, scientists have been able to teleport not only one, not two, but up to ten photons at a time. In future, they hope to teleport as many photons as they want. Ultimately, they would want to teleport atoms, which could lead to the teleportation of humans over vast distances. But seeing as it is 2040, we have already developed this technology, and I can finally get my keys after 24 years.